The Uncanny Animal, Evidence for and Unique Features of an Uncanny Valley in Virtual Pets and Animals. Introduction The Uncanny Valley refers to a phenomenon where human-like entities that appear close to realistic, but not perfectly so, illicit feelings of unease or repulsion. First identified by Masahiro Mori in relation to robot and prosthetic design in the 1970s, subsequent research has confirmed and further characterized this effect for humanoid robots, virtual humans, and digital avatars. An uncanny valley response is believed to be an evolutionary artifact, where an entity appears almost human, but imperfections trigger instinctive reactions attuned to abnormalities. In recent years, questions have emerged about whether a parallel uncanny valley effect manifests for realistic but imperfectly rendered depictions of virtual animals and pets. Advances in computer animation and graphics power have enabled increasingly sophisticated virtual pets and animals. However, the cues and mechanisms eliciting uncanny reactions may differ across human and non-human entities. This paper reviews emerging evidence regarding the uncanny valley as it applies to virtual animals, considering factors that enhance or mitigate the phenomenon compared to humanoids. Understanding the boundary between realistic and unsettling for virtual pets has important implications for character design in digital media, including video games, animated features, virtual worlds, and synthetic companions. An uncanny valley that generalizes across species could constrain efforts to render digitally mediated emotional connections with virtual pets. Alternatively, strategically leveraging uncanniness reactions could enable innovative design approaches not feasible with real animals. This paper synthesizes current and ongoing explorations of this issue, proposing future research directions needed to map the contours of the uncanny as it manifests in non-human entities. The end objective is better guiding the creation of appealing and affine virtual animal companions. Evidence of an uncanny valley for virtual animals A growing body of research indicates perceptual reactions to virtual animals parallel the documented uncanny valley phenomenon for humanoids. As computer graphic fidelity improves, virtual animals like pets and wildlife increasingly populate media forms like video games, animation, augmented reality, and virtual companions. Several studies have systematically manipulated design factors like realism and distortion in rendered virtual animals to probe the impact on affinity and emotional response. Schwind et al. 2018, evaluated perceptions of cat renderings ranging from cartoony to photorealistic on scales including familiarity, attractiveness and animacy. More realistic cats were rated as less familiar and likable. Rativa et al. 2020, similarly found that stylized panda renderings were perceived as more familiar and natural versus realistic variants. Accounting for factors like movement and interactivity, Sierra Rativa et al. 2020, also showed that participants felt greater empathy and immersion towards a stylized versus realistic virtual dog. These studies suggest that while increased realism may seem intuitively appealing for virtual animals, it can backfire by entering an uncanny zone that feels eerie or off-putting. Even minor distortions can drive this effect, Deal and McDorman, 2021, found that manipulations enhancing realism also increased perceived uncanniness of cat images by sensitizing observers to small distortions. This provides empirical evidence that an uncanny valley for virtual entities extends beyond humans. While further research is warranted, current findings suggest stylized representations allow for some abstraction while supporting emotional connections with virtual animals. Conversely, pursuing greater realism risks triggering instinctive aversions by depicting animals that seem real yet somehow not right, much like imperfectly rendered humanoids. These studies demonstrate that the tension between affinity and uncanniness manifests across species in the virtual world. Key Influencing Factors Evidence confirms that the rendering and depiction style of a virtual animal strongly influences uncanny valley reactions, but other factors also play an important moderating role. 
Key influences on the prominence and features of uncanny sensations include Realism and fidelity Increasing photorealism for virtual animals does not necessarily equate to increased appeal or likability. Current findings converge on more stylized or cartoon-like styles mitigating feelings of eeriness and uncanniness. That said, extremely unrealistic or abstracted depictions may also undermine relatability. An optimal balance likely exists between realism and abstraction. Facial Features and Distortion For human entities, subtle facial distortions often amplify uncanny reactions. Virtual pets and animals also tend to display expressions and social cues on the face. Deal and Wachtorman, 2021, verified that manipulations accentuating realism also enhanced sensitivity towards and detection of minor distortions in cat faces. The impact of specific anatomical distortions on animal uncanniness warrants further study. Familiarity The uncanny valley manifests based on deviations from learned expectations and schemas. Both expertise and experience with specific animal species may strengthen brain representations, allowing for more rapid detection of improbable features. Deal and Lewis, 2022, provided evidence that dog experts rate atypical virtual dog morphs as more uncanny compared to non-experts. Individual Differences Appreciable variability exists in uncanny valley sensitivity between individuals. Traits like empathy, openness to experience, or social anxiety modulate reactions to humanoid robots and virtual humans. Parallel personality factors likely influence the prominence and tolerance of uncanny sensations for virtual animals. Further research should explore how individual differences intersect with design factors in eliciting affinity or repulsion. Manifestations in virtual animals versus humanoids While the collective evidence confirms an uncanny valley phenomenon generalizes to virtual pets and animals, variations likely exist in how it manifests compared to human entities. Some divergent attributes based on current theory and data include Sensitivity to specific cues For humanoids, subtleties like imperfect skin textures, jerky movement, deadened eyes, and distorted voices can enhance uncanny feelings. It remains less clear which specific anatomical elements behaviors or features most strongly trigger animal uncanniness. Elements prompting unease may differ across mammalian pets, wildlife, and abstracted companions. Generalizable perceptual mechanisms. The uncanny valley is hypothesized to stem from fundamental cognitive mechanisms honed by evolutionary pressures. Detection of abnormalities and disease risks conferred survival advantages. While cues vary across species, core mental processes gauging normalcy may operate similarly for animals. Familiarity, orientation, and configural processing likely contribute for both human and non-human entities. Magnitude of effect Current evidence cannot definitively discern whether virtual animals elicit an uncanny valley sensation equivalent in magnitude to eerie humanoids. Humans may retain greater innate sensitivity to imperfections in people rather than pets or wildlife. If so, virtual animals may fall into an uncanny zone, but have more room for abstraction before reaching an affinity cliff. Characterization as sympathetic Stylized robot appearances eliciting feelings of warmth are less prone to the uncanny valley effect. Virtual animals may similarly benefit through explicit cues encouraging compassionate framing as sympathetic entities dependent on user caregiving, rather than autonomous beings evaluated more critically. While comparative data remains limited, underlying mechanisms likely share common foundations across species manifesting in virtual depictions. However, Nuanced differences in perceptual processing and instincts may grant some latitude in avoiding disturbing levels of animal uncanniness. Implications and Applications 
The confirmation that virtual animals are subject to uncanny valley reactions carries several important implications for research and development of believable, relatable digital entities. Some prospective areas warranting further exploration include Character design strategies Graphic artists and developers hoping to create appealing virtual pets, wildlife, and companions can apply insights from uncanny animal studies to guide design choices. Adopting stylized rather than stringent realism, allowing for some behavioral unpredictability, and focusing on cues that encourage empathy emergence may help avoid an affinity cliff. Measuring uncanniness Quantifying sensations of eeriness or revulsion remains difficult despite their importance for human virtual entity interactions. Most studies rely on explicit self-reports, but implicit behavioral or physiological measures may better capture nuanced reactions. Establishing reliable uncanniness metrics will further advance understanding the phenomenon across domains. Strategic uncanniness while typically undesirable in virtual pets and assistants, partially uncomfortable reactions could provide value in some contexts. Mild sensations of unease may help train healthcare professionals to handle stressful clinical events or allow early childhood education using seemingly problematic, but benign stimuli. Controlled uncanniness could expand possible applications. Cross-domain generalization the collective research implies constructs like empathy, familiarity, and orientation modulate uncanny valleys across both human and non-human domains. However, expanded comparative experiments directly contrasting domains are needed to definitively generalize mechanisms. Results could simplify uncanniness theories. Fruitful opportunities exist to leverage knowledge of the uncanny animal valley effect toward crafting relatable digital companions. Findings ultimately stand to enhance designers' creative palettes for evoking affinity while expanding fundamental explanations of perceived realism. Conclusions? Research on human-like entities that appear subtly imperfect, colloquially known as the uncanny valley, indicates this phenomenon generalizes to the perception of virtual animals and pets. Manipulations that increase realism for computer-generated animals can inadvertently highlight tiny distortions, eliciting sensations of unease or revulsion akin to those observed for humanoid robots and digital avatars. The collective evidence suggests an optimal balance exists between stylization and realism, for eliciting affinity towards virtual non-human characters. Key factors influencing the prominence and features of observed uncanny valley-like reactions for virtual animals mirror those established for human entities, including sensitivity to distortions, alignment with prior expectations, and the modulating role of individual differences. However, some divergences may also exist between species, including the specific anatomical or behavioral cues that read as not right, the intensity of unsettling reactions, and the ease of encouraging a sympathetic stance. These conclusions carry substantive implications for future research and development of relatable virtual entities across domains. Character artists and designers hoping to craft appealing virtual pets must carefully balance realism with abstractions that avoid landing in an uncomfortable in-between zone for users. Quantifying sensations of uncanniness also remains an open challenge. Strategically leveraging moderate uneasy reactions could enable innovative applications. Further comparative work directly contrasting human and non-human stimuli is still required to definitively generalize underlying perceptual and cognitive mechanisms. However, the manifest evidence suggests that while an affinity cliff likely permeates virtual depictions of animals, mitigation strategies allow creators room to evoke warmth and whimsy. Findings ultimately highlight that convincingly conveying lifelike essences demands carefully traversing the valleys of unease.